Hey everybody, Kurt here. I just want to do a follow-up video on my backspace for my Edge HD 800. So if you remember from before, using the Folk Reducer, the 0.7 Folk Reducer, it's 105 millimeters from the edge of the reducer all the way to your sensor. So the way I did it is I used the Celestron T adapter, which is 50 millimeters. And there's actually two versions. There's one for your regular S, uh, SCT and one for the Edge. The difference is the Edge one comes with this additional adapter. And this additional adapter is made for connecting up for DSLR cameras. Otherwise, it's the same. So anyways, what I did next was I used the 16.5 millimeter spacer from ZWO, connected up to the 21 millimeter filter drawer from ZWO, which is connected up to um, a coupler here, which is 11 millimeters that connects the camera to the ZWO filter drawer. And then there's 6.5 millimeters to get to the sensor. So that distance from the edge of the T adapter to the sensor is 55 millimeters. So you got 50 and 55 gives you the magic 105. Now, one thing I had to do, as I described before, was in order to use this 16.5 millimeter adapter, it's actually 48 it's the M48 threads right here. So I had to use two of these M42, M48 threaded adapters. That comes from ZWO, ZWO makes these things. Uh, each one of these incidentally is four millimeters thick. So I had to use two of them because the threads inside this spacer is eight millimeters. So it's, what I'm talking about is this is the um, this is the 21 millimeter spacer, but the threads inside here, the female threads are eight millimeters. So that's why you needed two of these. So if you use two of these, put it up on this this 16.5 millimeter adapter, and it, it connects. It it's flush with this 50 millimeter T adapter. All right. Now when I did that. The images came out okay, but they still weren't perfectly flat near the edges. There was still that elongation indicating that I needed more spacing. So, hi everybody, it's the next day, so I got a different shirt on. So, I wasn't going to take this apart, but I'm going to do it after all and show you what I did. I'm going to take this whole thing apart, anyways, because I'm going to try to install the Hyperstar, so I'm going to do a whole new setup, anyways. But the first thing I tried in order to get the, this adjusted back focus was I, I tried some of these spacers that come with all ZWO cameras and that added like a millimeter and a half or millimeter, millimeter and a half. But that didn't seem to solve the problem. It was still, the stars were elongated in the corners. And then I went overboard, if you will. I replaced the 16.5 millimeter spacer with the 21 millimeter spacer to see what would happen. And it was actually better, but I think I overdid it in that case. So I had to get somewhere in between the 105, but less than the 109.5 total backspacing that this thing provided. So let me take it apart and I'll show you exactly what I did. Okay, I'm back. So the first thing I tried, and you may remember, I did order a three millimeter spacer but this thing, I couldn't use it correctly because the threads on it are only three millimeters long on the male and female ends. And so if you stick them on these ends and the celeste, the threads here, these are like four millimeters, so it doesn't go all the way on. So this thing wasn't really useful. So I ditched that. What I did is I ordered the Celestron M42 spacer kit. And this comes with a 7.5 millimeter spacer, a 12 millimeter spacer, and a 30 millimeter spacer. And actually these spacers are very good quality, I think. All right, so let me put this thing together and I'll show you how I, I got between 
the uh, less than 109 but more than 105. So I'm going to put this T adapter back on again. All right, now comes the fun part. What I did was I took the 16.5 millimeter spacer and I only put one of these M42, M48 adapters inside it. Now the inside of these threads, the, I'm gonna try to, I don't know if you'll see it. These threads, uh, the female threads on the inside are eight millimeters thick. And if I stick one of these adapters in here, these are four millimeters, so that means there's still four there's still four millimeters spacing available. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new Celestron 7.5 millimeter spacer, and I'm going to insert that inside this 16.5 millimeter spacer. And what happens is it's recessed in here. I don't know if you can see that. So there's another three and a half millimeters of spacing from the edge of this, uh, from the edge of the 16.5 millimeter spacer to the edge of the 7.5 millimeter spacer. It's a three and a half millimeter increase. This spacer, the 7.5 millimeter spacer is recessed by four millimeters. And now I'm gonna stick that directly onto this T adapter. Now I'm ready to stick the rest of the stuff on. And the rest of the stuff is what I normally have, what you would normally have on here. And that is the filter drawer, which is 21 millimeters. Now this ZWO filter drawer, let's see, so this ZWO filter drawer it's M48 on this side and it's M42 on the, the other side. Let me show you, I'll take it apart. So this side it's M45, M48 and this side it's M42. So you need that another one of these adapters. I'm gonna carefully put it on so the grooves are pointing outward. And now I'm ready for the, this little coupler, this 11 millimeter spacer coupler, which holds the camera onto the filter drawer. There, there you have it. I now have my 108.5 millimeter backspace on here, which seems to be optimal for my setup. You might be asking, why didn't the 105 uh, millimeter work? And that's a guideline. You might have to do experiments yourself to check it over. Another thing is if you're using a filter, the thickness of your filter is gonna matter. So you, if let's say your, mil your filter is three millimeters thick, you might have to add another millimeter of distance to your backspace. So my advice is do the, re do the recommended value first, start with that. And if it's not perfect or as good as you good as you think it should be, do some experiments, try do some trial and error. Hey, one other thing. If you're using these M42, M48 adapters, make sure you have them so the grooves are pointing outwards. There's some grooves on here. And the reason is, is if you got them screwed in here, you can have it screwed on to something so tight you can't get it off with your hands. But if you have one of those spacer wrenches, since the grooves are pointing outwards, you can just stick that in there. Now, if you don't have a spacer wrench available, you can actually use the calipers, the reverse side of the calipers, and just stick them right in here, and they work just as well, and they're cheaper. I happen to know I use these things all the time. Well, that's all I have for you, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.